so today I am doing a review on the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and this has been highly raved here on YouTube and um, I finally caved and got it um, yeah and that's what I'm wearing on my skin today no primer, no concealer, nothing of the sort just the foundation by itself I did draw on my eyebrows because I don't have any um, okay so I'm gonna go in and tell you about basically what the website says about it um, it's post it is a weightless virtually invisible liquid foundation that creates luminous a luminous demi matte finish um, what it's supposed to do is to help achieve a natural illuminated and bright finish and um, it's formulated with light light diffusing spheres transforming you to look professionally retouched buildable coverage allows women to customize their look available in meticulously tabulated range of shades um, between warm and cool tones the finish is matte never flat and voluminous not shiny um, the foundation does not have any parabens, sulfates, synthetic fragment, fra fragrance, synthetic fragrances, GMOs, triglosin, any of that. Um, and the makeup also has a powerful anti-aging, anti-wrinkle peptide in it. Supposed to protect and brighten your skin, has green tea in it, and you know all that good stuff that's good for your skin. So I was looking for a good full coverage foundation that um, was light enough for my skin tone. I got the color in 05, which is the lightest shade that they have, and um, yeah, it comes in a really cute package um, and it's a pump type of foundation which I really prefer it's more sanitary um, and you get a fluid ounce 30 milliliters um, yeah so as I said I'm wearing the foundation by itself today no primer no base that's kind of the same thing isn't it no base nothing um no powder no concealer nothing um i'm gonna go ahead with the pros i'm gonna do like pros and cons the pros it's light enough for my skin tone which is good um it has a pump formula pump top which is a lot more sanitary and my personal favorite kind um the packaging is cute and that's about it for the pros. Um, I had high expectations for this foundation. I was hoping it would be a good full coverage foundation, and it's not. Um, it, you know, I barely feel it on my skin, which I mean, it's good, but it does not cover a thing. It doesn't cover any of this. It doesn't cover any of my scarring, my acne, under eye circles. It doesn't cover shit. Um, and this is supposed to be buildable. Well, I don't know how many layers you're supposed to put for it to work, but I did, you know, two, three layers of this product and I still got the same result. It's not buildable. It's not full coverage. Um, it was like $39. And it's absolute crap. It's very liquidy. Um, some people might like that. I personally don't because it was like water. And I had to work with it kind of quickly so it wouldn't get everywhere all over the place. Um, you know, it's it's just it's not worth the money it's not worth the hype um I'm very very disappointed in this because I love Urban Decay products I love all their eyeshadows and eyeliners and 
lipsticks and lip glosses. I love Urban Decay. And this is a big letdown. Um, I mean, the only really good thing about it is it's in my shade, which is really hard to come by, which I give Urban Decay props for that because as fail people, we have a very hard time finding good foundation that fits us, it's not too dark, or that oxidizes and makes us look orange. So, I give them props for that, and the packaging is really cute. It's very, the foundation is very lightweight. I don't feel it on my skin, which would be good if I was doing every day. But, I'm a kind of person, I want full coverage foundation. When I go out, I want a full coverage foundation. I have scars and blemishes and darkness and all this other stuff that I don't want. Um, and this does not do shit for me. And I'm going to be returning it to Sephora, um, immediately because I'm just so angry at how crappy this foundation is. You know, it says shake before you use. I shook it. I thought maybe, you know, it'll, no. It's literally like you just take water and pigment and just kind of put it in there. That's literally what it looks like, what it feels like, what it, what it is. It's just like somebody put some water in here and a little bit of pigment and was like, okay, we got a foundation, you know. Um, so I'm very, very upset with this. Um, I would, of course I'll never repurchase this kind. I don't even care if they do reformulate it. Um, but I'm very unhappy with this and I can't believe I spent like $39 on it. And the website um, categorizes it as a full coverage foundation. That's what pisses me off so much, is that it's not full coverage. It's not even medium coverage. It's the lightest coverage. I have BB creams that cover more than this does. And my BB cream costs maybe like $13. This costs $39. And I could have better coverage with a BB cream than this. I am pissed. I am furious. I am just... <sighs> yeah, no. So, if you're thinking about getting this foundation, do yourself a favor and don't. Because this is complete crap. And unless you want a light, light, I'm talking light coverage. Because I can't even tell I have foundation on. I'm going to have to go in with shit ton of concealer to even continue this day. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I tried to wear it because I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just give it a chance. You see how it is. After maybe two hours, it was like, it was gone. Like, the redness started coming out of my skin more than it already is now. My um, under eye circles were getting darker, and the blemishes were showing, so it does not last very long, maybe hour, two hour max, and the only reason I, re I realized how it was fading away so quickly is people were telling me, asking me if I wore foundation. I mean, I'm known in my little, like, group as the girl who always has her makeup on point. So the fact that they were like, are you wearing foundation or did you just know? That just, no. I mean, I'm a makeup artist and, um, you know, I want to further this in my career. And if my makeup looks jacked as hell, then that's a serious problem. But that's a completely whole different video. <laughs> um, but, um, I mean, it's just... It's not worth the money. It's not even worth like five, six dollars. It's complete crap. I have foundations that I've spent less money on that do way better than this. And I will be returning it immediately because this is crap. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, as you can tell, I'm not one of those people that, you know... <sighs> I don't like doing bad reviews on products just because if I don't like something I usually don't share it but because this was so pricey and I've noticed a lot of people gaining interest in this I really wanted to share with you guys my experience 
Now you may have a completely different experience. You may not have as much acne or scarring or anything, you know, dark places on your face like I do. I have a lot of discoloration and acne. Um, I mean, and this may work wonders for you. And if that is great, but the fact that it was considered a full coverage foundation and it doesn't, it's not even medium coverage, pisses me off. And I paid so much money for this. Like, this is the most expensive makeup item I have ever bought in my entire life. And I'm so pissed off. Like, I am pissed. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any recommendations on a good full coverage foundation that won't completely break the bank, that's a little bit higher in, not your drugstore, leave them below. Um, I was going to get the Kat Von D one, but they were sold out of my shade when I went to go order it, so I was like, woo, yay. Um, but yeah, just, no, if you're looking for full coverage foundation, do not get this. I'm just letting you know do not. So, that is it for my review, rant, unhappiness, <laughs> just, uh, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulder now that I've gotten to review this because I've been so mad at it and frustrated every time I open my drawer and I see it in there. I just want to throw it through the window with the window shut. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions on a good full coverage foundation, let me know below. I am looking for one that, you know, won't break the bank or anything like that. You know, no $200 foundations. Please, God, no. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to all of you later. Bye.